<laughs> What's going on you guys? So we're on the, to a, a new little video here. We're doing the clean the catch portion. We caught a monster amberjack, Chris and myself, fishing the reef today. And we're gonna do a little cleaning right now. We're gonna show you how to get this guy clean and totally filleted up. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Yep, oh, my bad. Woo, as you guys can see, it's a big boy. Now, a lot of times these big uh, amberjacks, they have Ooh, worms. That's why he didn't go down. He hurt his air bladder. What, it was full? Yeah, it just went. Pfft. These big uh, amberjacks. We were actually going to try to release this guy. Right. <laughs> he did not swim down, dude. So. Yeah. This guy put up a major fight. Honestly, like, like when people say these guys are reef donkeys, they're honestly like pound for pound champions out there on the reef. They... Eh? They're relentless. This guy put up, I think, five or six different runs, right? <laughs> he whooped your ass, brother. He did whoop my ass. Was, I was bent over sometimes, like, yo, help me back up. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. Ooh, there they are. Found them? Yep. Always in the tail. In the tail, huh? See? You hear when that's, people tell you that big jacks have worms? That's the section that you out. don't eat. <laughs> that's the section that's going to go in the garbage can or in the canal. Exactly. Look at this slab of meat we're about to get out of this thing. This thing is a dinosaur. This thing really is a fucking dinosaur. Dude, this top part right here is money. Is it really? The loin. So even though the tail has worms, the rest of the of the meat is pretty much clean and clear to go. Oh, we're gonna eat this bad boy. Eat some fresh, smoke them up, make some dip. on this guy. Man. Tough, huh? He's got his ribs. Whoa. Yep, that's, that's some meat. I think you could feed the whole entire neighborhood with this slab of uh, fucking fish. jack right here. <laughs> yep. And oh. that is how you fillet an amberjack. Well, that's the first part of the fillet. We still got to clean the skin off and get rid of the yeah. nasty tail. We'll come back and show you what it looks yeah. like all done. Exactly. Guys, take a look at this. I'm gonna get zoomed in right here so you can see this. This thing's alive. Good old worms. Let's see if we can get one of these long ones up. And this is why you fillet the fish. You clean it all up so you can see what's going on inside. You don't just rip those guts out and stick it in the fryer. <laughs> you got these fish, bro. Ooh. I mean, you would need a massive fryer to stick this guy hole into. <laughs> heavy, huh? Even with half of his body missing? <laughs> Just How heavy was this fish again? 43, 44 pounds. 43, 44 pounds. Third fish. He put you to work out there, man. He did. He felt <laughs> like a like a hundred pound fish. That's what that's what they feel like when you're fighting them. And Look at all that meat on his head, man. Oh, yeah. You can't even make a stew out of that head. That head won't even fit in a pot. Yeah, unless you got the world's biggest pot, dude. Yeah, man. I'm surprised you haven't started a collection of these tails. <laughs> I cut it to about... Time to remove the the wasted space. Unfortunately, we're not going to eat worms. Well, fortunately, we're definitely not going to eat worms. We don't <laughs> want to eat the worms. Yeah, but look at this. This is all good meat right here. Look at that prime slab right there. That's some good eating. I've never eaten amberjack before, so it's going to be a first for me to try this. 
So, can you explain explain to everybody at home why why exactly you do that? Do you, is there? A... It gets rid of the fishy taste, man. All, most fish have it actually. Even dolphin have a nasty bloodline that most people don't realize that you should cut out. This stuff right there, it really makes a huge difference actually in your fish. Huge. See that? Right there, yeah. removing that whole entire bloodline. It's just blood, blood, blood of freaking. Cut it out. Trim red meat. Throw that on the grill, that's gonna be tasty, boys. So how do you prep that so that it uh, won't stick to the grill or just a little right. olive oil? A little olive oil with like a rag or something. Or even cooking spray. What's good? What's good? Most fish is actually not the best for the grill because it's so soft and falls apart. Super firm. Look at that, dude. Yeah, like that's solid right there. Steak. I don't know if you want to get a bag and start. It's a clean steak. White meat? Yeah, completely white meat. Just what? Half of the fish? That's, the top, that's pretty much the top part, dude. That's the top part of the amberjack right there. That's how you properly clean and fillet your amberjack right after catching it. Pretty solid right there. All right, guys, so great thing about living on the lake is that when you're done with these fillets you get to feed the wildlife <laughs> the turtles love me bro turtles love them and as you could imagine here in south florida any local gators are gonna love you boom bam <laughs> well, i gotta throw the rest of them guts, but that guy is look at him, he sunk straight to the bottom yeah that's probably 30 pounds of bones that just went down. Dude, honestly, in an hour, we'll be gone. Really? Yeah. In one hour? Dude, I've thrown like freaking 30 yellow tails there, and I come back, and turtles just eat that shit up. I go, I go. Hoy se bien. All right, you guys, so that's gonna complete our little catch and clean video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Also, if you got any questions or you just wanna to talk to us, make sure to leave a comment down below. And if you're new to Bite the Bait Fishing, make sure you subscribe for more great videos for 2017. See you guys next time.